welcome back to my channel. It is Friday afternoon. I just finished working and I am about to start getting ready for tonight. We, Pierce and I are going to Fort Worth to see our friend's new house. They just bought a house and got married back in June. And so we're seeing their house for the first time, staying with them tonight. And then we're going out with some of our other friends in Fort Worth. Um, and just gonna have dinner and drinks and see where the night takes us. But I just prepped my skin for makeup. So it's like super glowy and shiny right now. Um, so to prep my skin for makeup, I will always do a, I should have showed you. I always do a um, hydration serum. So something with like B2 or just any sort of like high, really hydration serum. So I do that. And I always do that with a little damp face because vitamin B needs um, water to become active. So little trick if you are not finding that a hydration serum is doing anything for you. So I'll do that, let that sit for a second, and then I will put my moisturizer on and then follow up with an oil. And I'll just kind of let that sit like while I'll do my hair or do something else. And then my skin will be like perfectly ready for makeup. And then your makeup just sits so much better. My skin's super dry. So I just find that my makeup works so much better when I have like a super dewy, oily face. So good tip for you. But I am starting to pack up some stuff so we're not staying in Fort Worth for the weekend, but knowing this friend group, it sometimes happens. And so I'm just like preparing myself to stay like tonight and possibly tomorrow night. Never know where the weekend's going to take you. So because I live in Dallas and a lot of our friends live in Fort Worth and Pierce lives in Arlington, I sometimes have to like pack up my life and just like be prepared to like see where the weekend takes us because it just really depends on what the <laughs> is. So that's what I'm hearing. Okay, so while my hair was setting, just I usually like my hair holds curl pretty well, but I always like to have it just like set for a second and I don't spray anything in it because I hate that like crusty hairspray feeling. So I don't use any products except a heat protected spray. Um, but while I just let it sit for a second, I'll do my makeup. So I just finished that. And I'm actually gonna do a tutorial of this like glowy, dewy makeup look. This lighting isn't the best in here, but I'll show you in like the natural light. It's like the best summer glowy dewy look so once i just did that i'm going to take the little clippies out and then i will show you how i like kind of fluff and puff it out but i have to share my i just sprayed my perfume on it's the santel pierce got this for me it's it's so cute it says Cici love pp um he got it for me for christmas and i am obsessed with it but i refuse to travel with it he got me like a small size because he didn't know if i would like it but i absolutely obsessed with it um and so I like, I'm always scared to throw it in one of my toiletry bags or something just in case it spills. So I will not have it with me for the rest of the weekend, but it smells so good and it stays on so long. It's like so potent. Um, so I'll link that for you. And then I'll also link my little hair clips that just kind of keep your face out of the way and they're not creasing. <laughs> It's not perfect. I don't curl my hair enough anymore. Like this side, I don't like that all these are so similar. Like I wish there was one that was a little different, but 
whatever I'm being overly critiqueful and this one's like already straight <laughs> but it's so humid my hair is gonna like fall the second I get outside anyway but um I learned to so this is curling iron that I just use it's actually the curling iron I learned to curl my hair on I don't always use this I have so many curling irons I honestly just like switch it up every time I curl my hair it really just depends um but today I decided to use this because I saw a picture of my hair from college like today that came from my snapchat memories anyway that's usually how i decide is what curling iron i'm using based on what i've used in the past so when i see like a photo of recent so i use this one today um but i actually learned to curl my hair because i lived with showgirls they're like our cheer dance team um at tcu and i lived with them sophomore year and prior to that i had no idea how to curl my hair and they taught me and so i feel like i have like that very texas hair when i curl it and i love it but i'm like so grateful they like were the best and taught me exactly how to curl my hair but this little piece is still bothering me but it's fine okay so i just finished getting ready and I'm about to head out um i'm gonna drive to arlington to pick up pierce and then we're gonna head to fort worth together but i wanted to show you this cute little set that i'm wearing it is from red dress and I love it let me try to show you it is so darn cute that little skirt with the tie I could die and I love the little crop it is just so perfect so yes glad that I got everything ready it's always so much to try to get out of here with like the dog the bags and all of the things it just takes forever so it's doing pretty good on time good morning <laughs> you say good morning it's Monday morning right now we had a long weekend. This one got into the trash and we were at the emergency vet on Sunday. So we went to our friend's house in Fort Worth and I'd planned to do like a whole little vlog, weekend in the life vlog, but it just didn't happen. So I guess I'll do a little week in the life vlog and we'll just kick it off today. But so we went to the emergency vet. She had gotten into the trash, her and a few of the other dogs, and we had to get them to throw up and because they had swallowed like chicken bones and possibly tampons that were in the trash. Um, and so that was a nice vet visit, wasn't it? But um, I have a lot to do today, like grocery shopping and stuff since I didn't like fully prep on Sunday. I feel like I'm needing to do some of that today after work, but I need to get online to work soon. But first I need to, deal with this face because I'm breaking out so bad and I have no idea why. I don't know what it is, but my skin has been flaring up. Um, I started noticing it this weekend. So that'll be fun this week to have nice breakouts, but I'll kind of walk you through what I do when my skin gets like this because it's never fun. So you can see I'm breaking out like here and then I feel like this was maybe last week. I feel like this is just some scarring, but definitely breaking out here. And usually like depending on where you're breaking out on your face, you can tell like why, because if it's usually around your mouth, that's usually things you eat. So like chocolate and like other foods that can make your face break out. And here is usually stress or like hormonal, which might make sense um, since I was on my period last weekend. So could be that, but what I usually do is that I just, I usually wash my face. I wash my face like right before I worked out. So I'm not going to wash it again. Um, and then I will add where is it? this Differin um, gel. I don't even know how to say that word. So I'm not going to, but this is like a wonder for my skin. And I feel like it's super affordable too. Um, and so I just kind of use it as like a serum and I'll just use that all over my face. When my face is breaking out, I'll use that twice a day. But when my face is like normal, I'll only use this like once a day or once every other day, just kind of depending. And then I always, when my face is breaking out, I use a tritonin. So this is like a stronger version of a retinol. Um, and so it's awesome for fighting breakouts. I'm like almost out of this one. But this is like a prescription strength. So it's not super ideal if your skin's not used to something that is this strong but i've been using this like my whole life and so my skin's really tolerant to it but you just want to be really careful when you do use it that you're following up with sunscreen because um your skin can definitely be more sensitive to the sun when you're using this but i'll link a non-prescription strength version um and it's just 
basically the same thing at just a different string. So I'll do that. And then at night, I usually do the Mario Baduski drying lotion, but since it's morning, I won't do that. Um, and because my skin's breaking out, I'm going to skip my vitamin C today. Usually I would have put that on first after, before I did that serum, but because my face is breaking out, I just want to focus on the acne. And then I'm going to make sure to drink lots of water today. I need to up my water and think when my face breaks out. That's like one of the reasons I feel like your face can break out is just water. So I'm definitely going to be doing that today, but I'm just going to follow up now with a moisturizer and a sunscreen. I'll probably use this tool one today. Um, and yeah, that's about it. Okay. I'm feeling a bit more alive, a little bit more like myself on this Monday afternoon. I was so tired this morning and I had some meetings today, so I've just been kind of out of it. But I got a walk in over at lunch with Miller and now I just finished up work and I went and picked up some packages. I had a lot today. <laughs> I'm like the worst with packages. Like I kind of wait for them to pile up for a second because I'll usually know I have more stuff coming in. Um, and so I had a lot today. I had to like bring my little cart with me, which is the best thing ever. But anyway, um, I've opened up kind of everything, but I'll kind of show you what I opened. I realized I should have like opened them and actually in front of you, but I kind of have everything just, <laughs> just open. So I'll show you, but I have, um, I ordered new Nespresso pods, so I only have to do this like, I don't know, once every four to six months, depending on when I do it. I don't drink coffee every single day, and when I do drink coffee, it's usually when I'm like really dragging, so I definitely drank some today, but I still had some pods left. But anyways, I really wanted to order, I kind of already put some of them away, but I really wanted to order these iced pods because these are so good. They're like made for iced coffee. I'm like a huge Nespresso person, so even though I don't drink coffee every day, I like love my Nespresso. So I'm obsessed with the iced pods. They're my favorite and they only sell them in the summer. At least they did last summer. Maybe they'll keep them like year round, but I stocked up on these because I was scared that like come fall, they were gonna be gone. And I love iced coffee usually year round. I don't love to drink it when it's super cold out, but every now and then I just like crave it. So these are such a good one. And then I also got two versions of espresso. My sister was saying I say that wrong recently. She was like, is it espresso, espresso, espresso? Well, you know what I mean. But I get two versions of that espresso because I like the different flavors. This one's a little bit lighter. This is the Chario Chario one, and it's a little bit lighter of a taste. It's not as bold where this one is the double espresso and it's much more like bold and rich. So depending on my mood, I switch back between these, but I like these because it's not a ton of coffee. Like some of the other pods, like these one, like the iced ones, they make like a full cup of coffee. And I usually, when I make coffee, I want more milk than I do coffee. So I like the espresso pods because there's a smaller amount of coffee and then you can add like more milk and make like a latte. So got those. And then I also tried a new one because I was ordering these and Pierce was over. We were talking and he was like, I want something like sweet. Blah, blah, blah. And even though he doesn't live with me, he does drink coffee here every now and then. And so I wanted him to like kind of pick out this, um, a flavor that he liked. And so he picked out the hazelnut muffin. So we'll see if he likes these. I am not a sweet coffee drinker as much as I love like candy and desserts. I can't do sweet coffee. It just doesn't do it for me. So I don't think I'll be a fan of this. I before they've act, they always send you like samples and espresso does. And before they've sent me like caramel cookie and like uh, vanilla cake or something. And I hated them. I thought they were so sweet. I had like one sip and it's like, this is not for me. So we'll see. I love hazelnut though. Like I love like a nuttier flavor. So maybe, maybe I'll like it. I was on board with that one more so than I was like caramel cookie or anything like that. So I also got this mug. And it looks like it was sent to me from Le Creuset. So Le Creuset is like, um, they do like those really nice baking dishes and like they do pots and pans and lots of like nice plates and stuff. 
but I guess they sent me this Texas mug. There was no note or anything, so I'm not sure who it's from. And on the invoice, it says that I sent it to myself, but like there's no price for billing. So I'm sure it's just some sort of PR, but I've never <laughs> ordered this. But I love Le Creuset, um, and I think that their pots and stuff are so nice. I didn't even know they made mugs, but this one's cute. It has like a little Texas on it. So definitely always in need of coffee mugs. So I got new coffee and a mug today. So feeling good. But um, the next thing I ordered, I've been so excited to come in the mail. It kind of has taken a second to get here. It came in this really fun packaging, but I got a new electric picks necklace. So I've never ordered from this brand, but I've been eyeing them for so long. So this is the one that I got. It's the Harper four millimeter, I think. So I got this one, let me turn on. Um, I got this one because I wanted something, they're gold plated, these necklaces, and I wanted something that I could wear and not have to take off. And I could just wear it all the time because I wear my other necklace, this one that Pierce got me all the time. And so I wanted something that I could wear with it that was like, you know, a little bit more statement-y and I wouldn't have to take off. So I'm obsessed with this. I think it's the perfect length to love. Oh, and so then why I ordered this is because I saw someone had a code and they, if you ordered the necklace, it was 25% off. Like anything on their site was 25% off. So I got this necklace and then that day only it like came with earrings. So I got these earrings too for free. So I was like, this is a no brainer for me. And Pierce was like, oh, you do not need that necklace. And I was like, no, I do. Like, I didn't, I didn't have, um, <laughs> it's like, I didn't have a code or, um, if I didn't have the code, I wouldn't have ordered it. Like I know I don't need it, but with, it seemed dumb to not do it because there was a code and I got the earrings for free. So the earrings were like $68 value. And then the necklace was, um, 88. But then when I had the 25% off, it was, I don't know, less than that and horrible math. So I got that. And I feel like I got one other thing today too. Oh. I got some stuff from Target. So I got this new cup and then you're probably like, it's identical to this cup, but there's, there's a size difference. <laughs> this cup, when I bring it in the car, I like drink so much water in the car. And so I wanted something bigger, but I didn't want to have to pay for that Yeti one again. So I got this one. Um, and because Target only does like a $35 minimum for shipping, like free shipping. I hate paying for shipping, refuse. And so when I saw that I needed like 10 more dollars to spend to get free shipping, I was like, okay, surely I can find something that I like need for $10. So this was the winner. <laughs> I don't even know if I have a straw big enough for it. It's like huge, but I feel like it'll be good. I, in Texas, you need these insulated cups. Like it's so hot. You can't have a normal uninsulated cup. It's gotta be these. So I will definitely use it eventually. So I think that was it. Oh, and Miller's bone. She's already chewing on it. So I got these bones from Miller. I have a video of it. I gave it to her to send to Pierce and I should have taken it the other way, but I took it vertically. So I'll, I'll show it to you here. But I always get these bones for her and she's like obsessed with them and they are shin bones. So they're from like cow or something, but they fill them with some sort of peanut butter filling. And when I give one of them to her, she will be entertained for four hours. And so I usually try to save them for like when I'm gonna, gonna be gone for a while or you know, I'm leaving her with like Pierce's parents or something and they're watching her. So like keep her entertained. Um, but she saw me take it out of the box and started like crying and like was so excited. Like she knew it was for her. And we have a ton of them. Like they last forever. Like they can never fully like chew that down. So we used to have a ton of them just laying around and she would still like every day chew on them. And I don't know what happened, but I can't find one. I know we accidentally left one at our friend's house, but I was like, it's a $4 bone, like just keep it. Um, but I'm just like, I don't know where the, all the other ones went. I've definitely bought her more over the course of time, but whatever, she is obsessed with them. And that was another thing. Maybe I needed 15 extra dollars for my shipping. So I got that too. But the other last piece that I got it's like a vase from Target that didn't come in yet. And it looks like it's being shipped from a different like uh, warehouse or something. So it hasn't come in yet, but that's the haul today. Um, hopefully I don't think I have anything else coming this week minus that base. So that's about it. 
Hello, it is Wednesday evening and I just finished up work and now I'm sitting in my little favorite spot. I love these chairs that I got from Target um, and I sit in them all the time when I work on vlog stuff. It's just like so, such an ideal comfy setup. So I'm like always here when I'm working on vlog stuff, but I am about to submit a campaign that I worked on and I'm so excited about it because I have been dreaming of working with this brand for so long. And when they reached out to me, I was so honored. So Target reached out to me, Target, the Target, a few weeks ago and asked for me to work with them on a campaign, like a summer campaign. I was like instantly yes. And it's been so fun and it's just like made me realize how far I've come in like this whole blogging thing. Um, I've wanted to have a blog for so long. Like I feel like forever I've always wanted to have one. And like growing up, I always had like some sort of new website or was putting on dances or I was like being always like being so creative and stuff. And so I feel like there was always this need to have like this creative outlet for me. And I wanted to do it in college, but I was so scared of what like everyone would say. I was very much still just like worried of what people would think about it. And which is so stupid in hindsight, like now I could literally care less and I know people talk about it and I just don't even care. Like it's for me at the end of the day. And yes, it is such a, like I love, my favorite part of it all is being able to meet like you virtually and being able to have conversations and, I just feel like I've like met so many people virtually that, you know, it's just, that's what makes it so fun. And like that you can be a tiny part of someone else's day a resource. And it's also just been so fun to like look back on. Like, I feel like the growth that I've seen on my own page, like, you know, a year, a year ago, two years ago, six months ago, it's just always so fun to like kind of see it evolve. So I definitely am in the right place and love doing this so much. And if you've ever wanted to, I would highly, highly encourage you to do so. It is so much fun. I seriously love it and I'm so thankful for it every single day. But yeah, so I'm submitting this um, campaign right now. So basically how some of these campaigns work is you shoot the content usually sometimes you have to buy the product and then get reimbursed for it or it's like part of like the set rate that you guys agree that you and the brand agree upon and then um you'll like shoot everything write you know captions hashtags write the post there's like a blog post and then usually the brand wants to see it for approval so you'll submit that so i did that this past Monday. Yeah, I submitted it Monday and today's Wednesday, so I'm going to post it tonight. Um, and so then now I just need to give the links to everything that's live. So it just went live. I just put, hit publish on everything. So um, yeah, that's usually how this stuff kind of works. So I'll submit this and then I, um, I'm probably just going to hang out with Mills. My sister is flying in tonight. She is going to be a freshman at TCU, and so she flies in super, super late tonight. Her flight got so delayed, um, and we were going to go to dinner, but I'm just going to pick up, I think, Thai food for her and I to eat whenever she lands, but it's going to be a late night for sure, so I'll probably just edit this video until she gets here, but yeah, that's about it. I feel like this video was a little all over the place. I need to even look at everything that I shoot. I feel like I started shooting stuff for this last Friday, so it might be a little random, but I feel like the day in the life videos are fun because I talk so much on stories about like what I'm up to and stuff, but I really want to kind of eventually transition that content to YouTube and have more like long form stuff here. It just feels like I can just kind of, you know, ramble on a little bit more in a way. Um, and I just feel like the community on YouTube is just like, I love watching other people's YouTube videos. I find so much joy in it. And so I definitely want to get better at it. It's just hard with my work schedule. Like I work, you know, eight to five Monday through Friday. So it's not like my routine's really that different from week to week, but um, I feel like I'm kind of getting the hang of it more. Yeah, that's kind of where this is gonna... But yeah, that's about it. I am... Um... I don't know what I'm gonna do the rest of the week. Tomorrow night, I don't have anything planned. 
Pierce was supposed to come over, but he doesn't have a car right now. He's in need of a new truck, so we'll see. Um, so I'll probably just chill out, probably watch endless amounts of Love Island, but yes. And then this weekend, more fun things. So hopefully I can be more consistent with YouTube. It would be my goal to have two videos of a week, but we're just going with one for now and trying to make it work. But thanks for being here and um, I hope you all alone and come back for more. So I will see you next time.